Hello everyone, it's Dutch Formaster and welcome to a new SketchUp rendering tutorial using RRender Next. So today I'm going to show you how you can make animations using RRender Next in SketchUp, which I think is a very cool uh, feature which uh, really makes RRender NXT a very good rendering program. So here you see one of the models I've made, it's just a very modern house and I wanted to make uh, an animation, which means that you have two shots and you move between those shots and kind of film that that's what an animation is for those of you who didn't know so first of course uh, then you need a shot so therefore you go to view animation and then you click add uh, scene and you just say create scene and then let's say I would like to um, have another scene over here and another one up here you know just to have enough and let's say, you know, you can just move between these uh, scenes, which goes pretty smooth, but not as smooth as you want it to be in the end. Um, so in order to update a scene, just to have it a little bit more perfect than it was before, let's say you want to move this one kind of over there, then you can say update scene and then from now on scene 3 will be uh, the correct way. But anyways, in order to start uh, making the animation, you have to go to the RRender NXT interface and then you have to click on this icon which says create animation. And then this um, yeah, settings uh, menu pops up and here you just see the overall uh, information which you will be able to uh, set up later on uh, using the other settings. And this is where you can uh, choose where to save it by clicking on the save button. You can choose where you want your render a rendered animation to be uh, saved and here you can um, choose a name so let's say a uh, real video test and just uh, make sure that you don't delete the dot i uh, a i v a v i i mean um, because that makes that it will be a video so here you have the setting don't prompt to uh, file override which means that um, if you have that ticked on it will not warn you uh, if you're actually overriding an existing file um, while you're saving the uh, new animation. So I would advise to actually not have that ticked on because you won't be wrong then. And um, play when finished is really what it says. It will just play your animation when it has finished rendering. So if you now go to the second uh, tab on the settings, which is named render, you can choose between small, medium, large and high resolution. And you can also uh, go for a custom resolution and then I would advise to just not use the SketchUp aspect ratio. And if you really want to have a high quality video, I'd go for, uh, for YouTube at least, I would go for 1920 by 1080, which is like the perfect resolution for um, YouTube. And then here you have the pauses and um, yeah, you can have these like very low, but the higher they are, the better quality your video will be in the end. Uh, I wouldn't go too high, but I think like 20, 30 would be like really good, but with 20, it still looks okay. But the more passes, the more time, or the more time the render kind of spends on, uh, you know, making sure that your shot uh, looks good. I'm not going into the modify a batch setting simply because they're not really essential for this tutorial. So now um, you of course want to uh, decide how much time you want it to take to go between scene 1 and scene 2. So um, that's what you choose uh, here with page transitions and I would like it to take 6 seconds to uh, go from scene 1 to scene 2. And then I want the animation to start after uh, 1 second. And uh, that makes what that page delay actually um, sets that um, yeah it you know, the page delay setting uh, decides how much time it takes before you actually start the actual animation. So here, in this case, it takes one second and then the uh, six second uh, uh, animation will start. So in the end, the video will be seven seconds. Here you have the frame rate, um, which goes from five to 30, 30 being the highest, making it the highest quality, because in one second then 30 shots are made, while with five uh, frames per second, it makes that only five frames are made every second. So for a very high resolution, I'd go for 30, which is the highest. Here you can choose which scenes you want to have uh, on your um, yeah, animation. So I'd go for scene one to scene two. You can just uh, choose these here and save each scene change as separate movie. And that setting 
uh, makes that every move you make is saved as a separate file and this one loop back to starting page means that if you go from scene one to scene two if you have this last option ticked on when you're at scene one you'll go back to scene one uh, or if you're at scene two you'll go back to see uh, the scene you started with so in this case scene one um which I personally don't find necessary in this case, so I'm not going to tick that on. And by the way, as animations are really something you just have to work around with and just, you know, try de uh, several things out, try other resolutions, uh, try like uh, more passes in a render or a different aspect ratio. It really depends on what you want, so I can't inform you too much about how, uh, or I'm not going to give too many examples because simply it's just um, your. Um, yeah, what you prefer uh, in the look of your uh, end result of the animation. But of course, I will actually show you an end result of a uh, rendered animation. So here, I would just not change anything here. Just have Microsoft Video 1. And then the compression quality is normally on 85, which is the default. If you go lower, the quality will be lower. And of course, we want to have a high quality image. So I'm going for 100. Here with key compression frames, I would go for something kind of low because the higher it gets, the lower the quality of the video will be. So in this case, I think I'll go for five. And then I wouldn't uh, look into this because that's not really necessary and neither is farm very necessary. So now you click on start animation and you'll actually see that uh, the animation uh, process will start. Um, please keep in mind that um, it really depends on the quality of the video you want to make that it can take um, between minutes to like hours uh, for your image to uh, get rendered simply because it's just kind of a heavy process and really depends on your computer as well how much time it will take um, to get your um, yeah, animation rendered. I think with this very high quality video it will take several hours to get it rendered while a very low quality video can be rendered in only like several minutes. So please keep that in mind and of course you'll find out about that more when you actually start trying out um, yeah, this option in SketchUp. And actually definitely this option in iRender Next because that's mainly what uh, this animation is made for. iRender NXT is just a really good animation uh, program and I'm really happy that I finally know how to make animations because in this way I can even make my videos be uh, better. So I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. I hope um, it has been useful. If you ha still have any question, please put it down in the comments here and I'll actually do my best to uh, comment on most of them or uh, you know all of them if I can and then I hope to see you back later